So this is a kit that I've made using my own stash. I'm going to show you quickly how to create your own kit for use at crops or at home. So let's clear this away. First thing we normally start with is the photographs and so obviously you collect your photographs together and that can be the first stage where you're just sorting through your photographs and you put those away as a set into a plastic container. You can use a page protector but as you add more things it might be a bit tight. So and now that can be stage one and then that's ready you can clear up and go on to the next stage another time. So stage two is pick out one of your sets of photographs and go rummaging through your stash for your patterned paper and your card. I've chosen some patterned paper and card here in various complementary colours to do with these photographs. And that is then the next stage where you can tidy up and you put your photographs with the card and you pop all that back inside your plastic container until next time. Then stage three you get them out and using one of these which I had ham in which are therefore free I prepared one earlier I've been through my embellishments and here I have my blooms, buttons, brads, I have various uh, chipboards, I have some rub-ons that I found. You go through all your things and you pick out a few items from each which will go well with your colours of your page. Now the point of this is that I haven't put all of my red blooms out, I've just put some of them out. I always know where the rest are and I can't put all my brads out. I've put one or two of each of the colours that I think may work and if I decide for instance I want to use that one on my layout I can go and collect the rest uh, where they are stored rather than getting them all out. But I've been through buttons, so I've brought, brought my complementary coloured buttons through and also again my eyelets, you may not be able to see that very well. I've got some ribbons in a minute and some fibres. So that's my embellishments and that is a great place to stop too and pop all that back into your plastic folder and you can tidy up and that's the end of that stage. The next stage, I love them, is ribbons. I've been through my ribbons and I've pulled out all the colours that will go with the embellishments I've already sorted out and my papers and my photographs. So now I have a f almost full page kit, all of which goes into my plastic cover. This cover um, has come with some pattern paper inside that I've ordered, so that was free, always keep those. That now can be hung up somewhere waiting when I'm ready to actually do the layout. These are ideal for crops, remember. Now if you want to improve on that even more, here are a few tips. Here I have already have an idea of what I want to call it and I've pulled out some of my stickers which I can use for my title. I've also got some uh, rub-ons here which are white rub-ons which I may use. If you want a little bit more preparation I've made a single page layout scrapbook planner and this is downloadable as a PDF from simplyscrapbookingnow.com. It's based on one by organisedscrapbooks.com. This allows you a space for a sketch, some journaling notes and any other ideas that you might want to uh, write down on here. It also has a space for you to write down where your photos are. If they're not in here they may be on your computer so you can write the file name down there. And that pops straight inside with your kit and you then have your whole kit ready to go to a crop. So that's how to make your own kit from your existing supplies so that you can get on and do some scrapbooking.